Hello everybody, this is Miss Money, back to talk to you about commas. Um, before we get started, let's just look at a few words that we want to make sure we know. Um, the first here on the top is punctuation. The second is comma. And then here we have series, letter, date, and the last word is address. And here on the bottom you see my blue comma as an example of what a comma looks like almost like a dot with a hook on it. Okay. I brought back my comma llama poster. Um, on our last lesson, we talked about a series and how a series is three or more things. And in this example on the top, it's I like peppers, ham, and olives on my pizza. Now, when you hear me read that, I don't stop and say comma when I see a comma. Just like at the end of a sentence when you see a period, when we get to the end of the sentence, we don't say period or question mark or exclamation point. Okay, you just see it and you know as a reader um, what you need to do because of that punctuation. And when you see a comma, that's a cue to you to pause for a, just a quick breath before you go to the next word. Listen again. I like peppers ham, and olives on my pizza. Okay, the last two examples on this comma llama poster is um, right here we have, oops, a date, and here it reads, my birthday is on March 27, 1996. Well, that's not Miss Money's birthday. I think that's comma llama's birthday. Um, this birth date is put in a sentence, and you'll notice that the only comma in that birthday is right after the day. Well, that's um, the case for all dates when you're writing the full date. Let's look at some other examples for a moment. Here I have three written. I have today's date, which is April the 6th, 2020. And you'll notice when I read that, I didn't say April 6th, 2020. I just read it and paused when I saw the comma, April 6, 2020. Here I have Easter's date, which this year is April 12th. So when I read that, I say April 12th, 2020. And Christmas this year, December 25th, 2020. Now you'll see that the comma is down at the bottom of the line, or the dot is just barely above the line, and then it has the hook there. And you also notice that it's close to the number, okay? There's, um, when you're writing, there's no space between the number and the comma. I know on mine, it looks like there's a tiny space, but when you're writing, there really isn't one. Okay, so when you're putting a comma on a date, it always goes right after the day. You don't put one after the month just after the day. Okay, and that's when you're writing the full date. The next example I want to show you is an address. Now on my comma llama poster, the bottom example is of an address, and this address is written like a sentence. Marco lives at 107 West Bank Drive, Nashville, Tennessee, 37011. On um, this address, you'll notice two commas. One is after the name of the road that they live, which is West Bank Drive, and the other comma is after the town. You always, when you're making an address, you always put a comma after the town. When you're doing it in a sentence, then you would put one after the road name too. But I found an example of an envelope that I got in the mail. I just wanted to show you, see if I can get a, oof, wrong way, <laughs> sorry. Here we go, back this way. You can see uh, my name there at the top and then my address and then right after the town, you can see a comma. But there's not one after the road name because this is actually an envelope and you don't have to do that unless you're writing a full sentence. Okay, I had one more example. Also has my address on it, but I wanted to show you at the top there, 
and there's a comma after Nashville, which is the same town in the example. I totally did not plan that. It just is a coincidence that they're the same town. And then you see down at the bottom um, my address, and there's highlighted is the comma right after the town. So when you help your family check the mail, um, maybe you could give a look at all the addresses and find the commas that are after the town that you live in. Okay, let's look at one more example of why you would use a comma. And I tried to use several examples of commas in this one. And here's a letter. Okay, this is a pretend letter to my sister Misty. And you'll notice at the top I have the date, today's date, April 6, 2020. And then here we have her name. And I've written Dear Misty. Well, whether you write the word dear or you just write someone's name, like you might write mom or dad, or you might write your brother or sister's name, you'll always put a comma after their name. Okay, that's just letter etiquette. <laughs> Here we have um, the body of the letter, and it says, Will you please bring a chair, a book, and a coffee to my house? Won't it be great fun to read outside? Okay, so here's my other example of using commas, and this one is using commas in a series. And this series is a chair, a book, and a coffee. I'm inviting her to come and read outside with me and have some coffee while we read. At the bottom is the last part of the letter that I want to draw your attention to that also requires you to use a comma. And it's when you sign your name at the bottom. She's my sister, so I wrote love and then the comma, and then my name. She doesn't call me Miss Money, so I just wrote my first name, Christy. So anytime you write a letter to someone, you're going to put a comma after their name at the top, and down here at the bottom, whether you write love or thank you or sincerely or any of the other things you might write at the bottom of a letter, you'll always write a comma, and then you put or sign your name underneath. Okay, so those are three new examples to add to the one we talked about last time. So we can add a comma to a series, a letter, a date, and an address. So there's different places that are really important for you to add a comma. Keep using those commas in your writing when you're doing your work from your choice boards or your homework or different things that you might write that, where your teacher can see that you've learned how to use a comma to make yourself a better writer. Till next time. Bye guys.